Ever need to perform a re-injection after a run on the CE platform? Well, you're not alone. We get these questions all the time about how to perform re-injections on the 3500 genetic analyzer. So let's go through it step by step. The first thing you should know about performing a re-injection on the 3500 is that it can only be initiated after a run has started and while it's currently in progress. Otherwise, before your run has started, or if your run has already completed, your option is to duplicate an existing injection. A re-injection allows the user to either keep the original injection and run conditions or change how the sample is injected by altering the instrument protocol. So let's go ahead and start a run. There are several ways to re-inject your samples. Let's start by viewing the monitor run screen. Now that your run has started, you will be able to select any sample that you wish to re-inject by selecting the well from the plate view. Once you highlight the sample, navigate to the top toolbar and select the re-inject button. You will be asked if you would like to re-inject an allelic ladder with your sample, eliminating this extra step on the front end. A pop-up box will appear. This is where you can choose to reuse your existing protocol for that sample, modify the existing protocol, create a new protocol from a template, or reuse a protocol that exists in your library. You also specify whether you want the re-injections to occur immediately after the original sample injection or after all the injections that are still pending. Remember that when you specify individual wells for re-injection, the instrument must still physically inject all 8 or 24 capillaries for that array. However, the data is collected only for the wells that were selected for re-injection. If you wish to re-inject more than one sample, hold down the control key and select each desired sample. This step is essential for consolidating the number of injections it takes for your instrument to perform the required re-injection selected. So how do I know if my samples are being re-injected? In the plate view, here's how you see it. The re-injection number is displayed for all samples in the re-injection, not just the samples selected for data collection. But wait, there are other ways to re-inject. You can also perform re-injections from the instrument run views and flag screen. On the Array tab, select the corresponding capillary number for an 8-cap or 24-cap array. Alternatively, the flag table displays a quick preview of sample quality and identifies samples that may need investigation. If you would like to re-inject samples that have been flagged, you can select the samples directly from this table. Remember to hold control and click if you would like to make multiple selections prior to hitting re-inject. The final location to perform a re-injection is in the View Fragment HID Results screen. In this screen, the samples have gone through a primary analysis, giving you an electropherogram data and flags to review and assess overall injection quality. To re-inject from this screen, simply highlight the necessary sample or samples and click the re-inject button located at the top of the toolbar. That's it for now. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in to this Back to Basis episode of Forensic Focus. If you have any questions, just submit them at the link below.